welcome back to that same old place that you laughed about. Go 18, got 20. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Another Festivus miracle. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. Happy Festivus. We have another airing of grievance movie review for a 2023 film called Night of the Missing. And um, this is uh, released in October. It kind of slipped under my radar. Um, this is set on Christmas. Um, so that's what uh, drew me to it because I've been searching for uh, Christmas themed horror movies. So this is Christmas themed very lightly. Uh, I keep finding these ones that are like, have synopsises that say Christmas, but then they're not like the Christmas horror that I'm looking for. But this movie wasn't bad. It ended up being an anthology as well. And there was nowhere mentioned in any of my searching for any movies um, that this was an anthology film. So uh, it has very few reviews on IMDb and they're all about split. Like, um, uh, I did read a few um, reviews, and I don't typically do that before I film my own review because I don't want to be influenced, but um, I was seeing some similar uh, comments to how I felt about this movie that, um, while it's good, uh, it kind of didn't present itself in any of the, you know, profiles or synopsises of it being an anthology, so it kind of threw people off. So I did end up knowing... Uh, after you know, after you watch the first little bit of it, it's it's got a really good opening. It's very uh, intense, and it's uh, set in a police station, and uh, we get kind of a gruesome, dark, uh, stormy night uh, scene of a police car, and then it <coughs> is got some some blood on it and things, and then we kind of switch over to this janitor cleaning up mopping and doing things and uh he uh puts a candy cane on one of the cell beds and you see christmas tree lights in the background and that's just about all the christmas <laughs> that there is so uh some of the, you know it's set on i guess christmas eve and that that's about as much christmas in this until like the very end there's like one uh more little Christmassy thing. Oh, and the, the end credit theme song is a very interesting choice of a song, and it's a really interesting um, rendition of a Christmas song as well. Um, and uh, it's funny because I don't celebrate Christmas, but I do find myself listening to Christmas music every once in a while. So, and then of course, you know, as a kid, obviously, I, you know, everyone hears Christmas music at some point. If you're out shopping, you're forced to hear it, um, or if you're in your car. And uh, you just want to have like some nostalgia music on Christmas music usually fits that bill. Um, I don't listen to it very often, but I have caught myself already this year listening to it. Uh, so this was a screen box and it's a bloody disgusting um, production and it's an hour and 13 minutes. It's pretty well paced. Um, there's four stories in this uh anthology plus like there's the opening and then there's like the ending so as far as anthology goes this did it pretty well for me as far as like what my preferences are for anthologies is that we have an opening um we have somebody telling a story type of a deal and uh and then we kind of have a wrap up at the end so basically a woman makes her way to the uh precinct the police station while that janitor is cleaning and it's a very dark stormy rainy night lots of lightning they do a good job with the lighting and the sound uh and and the appearance of rain it's very clear uh, that it's a dark and stormy night and uh the woman is uh you know soaking wet she's got some bloody hands she's looking a little disheveled and uh scares the uh janitor and then the uh detect or detective the uh policewoman sheriff makes her way in, and then that's where the story begins. Uh, the sheriff is played by Meredith Thomas, and I think she's pretty intense. She's a pretty interesting character. Uh, the Mysterious Woman is played by Jill Aubrey. Uh, this movie also features, in one of the stories, Bill Mosley. 
but it's just an audio. It's a phone call. You hear his voice, which is pretty recognizable. Um, so, I mean, if you like to listen to Bill Mosley, uh, he plays the caller. Uh, Giggy Augustine plays Tammy Wright. She's also one of the co-writers of this anthology. The other writer was Samuel Gonzalez Jr., who was also one of the two directors, and the other director was Matthew Hirsch. And I did not see Matthew Hirsch's name in the credits. I thought maybe I would. Uh, there's a bunch of other characters. Like I said, there's four uh, short stories in between the two bookends. Uh, the first one is called We All Scream. That story was really good. It was so short, though. It was probably my favorite of all four. So I was very happy with this start. Um, about, an, about a kid, you know, wanting ice cream and there's an ice cream truck outside and there might have even been a scary clown. Uh, so, you know, I love that. Uh, there was another story called Miniature. There was one You Promised and Night Flirt. And Bill Mosley is the phone caller in the Night Flirt. And that's also the uh, uh, one that has Giggy Dustin, who... Uh, is an actress and co-writer. She was in that uh, short story. So I don't, I can't go into too much detail because these stories are weird um, because they they didn't have a Christmas theme to them. So like when I read a synopsis and it says that it's set on Christmas Eve and then you find out it's an anthology, you kind of think, oh, there's going to be four stories that kind of have some Christmas uh, theme to them, some undertone, because uh, usually that's how it works, but they didn't. So um, they're good stories. The one called Miniature, it's really weird, and you don't get any explanation as to what's going on, really. Uh, but it's it's interesting. Like, all four of them were decent and interesting, well shot, well produced, uh, good everything, acting's fine in this. Um, I really enjoyed the sheriff. She, uh, Definitely has a lot of layers. <laughs> She's got a lot going on in this. Uh, so, like, it's that traditional where we meet the mysterious woman. We're doing some sort of interrogation. She wants to report missing persons. Uh, so the sheriff takes her into a room. Uh, they sit across from each other. Behind the woman on the wall is a board full of missing posters. And uh, I guess this town is just plagued with a lot of missing people. And so the sheriff's losing her patience with this woman who's really dragging out who she's trying to say is missing. Uh, the woman gets up and she starts looking at the board and then she'll find one of the pictures and then begins telling the story. And then that's when it fades into the uh, story of whoever it was that she found on the board, um, which is kind of clever. Uh, it's, it's kind of neat. Um, and then we get through the four stories and then we have the wrap up, which, really amps up because the sheriff's getting very frustrated. Like, how do you know all these stories about these people that are on the missing wall? Like what's going on? Like what, what's your, what's your deal? And then it comes to a big climactic ending. Uh, I really like the sheriff and um, yeah, it's not very heavy on Christmas. So if you're looking for a Christmas anthology, I actually probably would not, Hi, I just had to start uh, again when I clapped my hands or something, I automated turning off my video. But what I was saying was that the um, anthology isn't necessarily very Christmassy, um, but it is uh, a decent anthology on its own. So uh, check this out. It's on Screenbox. You may be able to find it on some other. I think I saw that there were links for like Vudu and Amazon Prime uh, to rent. If you have a Screenbox subscription, that's the way to go. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, what are you doing to celebrate Festivus?